When it comes to foldables, Samsung has long been a trailblazer. We don't just rate the Galaxy Z Fold 4 as an excellent folding phone, it's one of the best smartphones on sale right now. But there's always something newer and better in the pipeline, so it's time to look at its imminent successor, the Galaxy Z Fold 5. There are rumors going around about the upcoming flagship foldable device, but it is not expected to be launched for a few months. Currently, we have some information on what to expect and also some features that we hope Samsung will incorporate in the device. The competition for high-end folding phones is heating up and Samsung currently holds an advantage over its long-standing rival, Apple. The release of the Galaxy Z Fold 5 is almost a certainty and it is expected to make its debut later this year. Historically, Samsung has launched its foldable phones in August, with the exception of the original Galaxy Fold which was released in March 2019. However, a recent report from Korean news site The Elec suggests that Samsung may push the launch date forward by two to three weeks, with a potential reveal date of July 26 and sales starting a week later. It is too early to speculate on the pricing of the Galaxy Z Fold 5 as factors such as global cost of living increases, expensive raw materials, and higher shipping costs may impact the final price. The Galaxy Z Fold 4 was priced at pound 1649-$1800, and it is possible that the successor may cost slightly more unless Samsung is able to make significant improvements to its supply chain. According to the current consensus among leakers and tipsters, the upcoming Galaxy Z Fold 5 is expected to have a similar design to its predecessor with a 6.2-inch external screen and a 7.6-inch inner display. However, the bezels may be slightly reduced, resulting in slightly smaller overall dimensions. The device is anticipated to be thinner than the previous model, making it more pocket-friendly. The rumored color options are cream, blue, and phantom black. One significant improvement expected in the Galaxy Z Fold 5 is the elimination of the gap between the two halves of the phone when folded shut. This feature has been successfully achieved by rival foldable phones with a teardrop-style hinge, which also helps reduce the visible crease down the center of the screen. Samsung has already demonstrated a concept device with this technology to Korean blog neighbor at the CES trade show in January. The Galaxy Z Fold 5 is likely to use the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor, which may be a plus variant that has yet to be announced by Qualcomm. Samsung and Qualcomm previously collaborated on a custom version of the regular Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for the Galaxy S23 series, so this chipset may make a reappearance. Twitter tipster Yogesh Brar has suggested that the device will feature a 50MP main camera, a 12MP ultra-wide lens, and a 10MP telephoto lens. While new sensors are expected, it is unclear whether all three cameras will receive them. As much as we love the Galaxy Z Fold 4, it only earned 4 stars in our review. There's plenty of room for improvement, and these are the areas we reckon Samsung should address first so its next model scores even higher. The Galaxy Z Fold 5 is expected to eliminate the gap between the two halves of the phone when folded shut, a feature that many newer folding phones have already implemented. This will allow the device to fold completely flat, which has become a highly sought-after feature in the foldable phone market. The latest rumors suggest that Samsung has achieved this with the Z Fold 5, which would allow it to keep up with the competition and maintain its lead in the foldable phone market. It would be great to see Samsung make changes to the dimensions of the outer screen on the Galaxy Z Fold 5, but the latest rumors suggest that it will have a similar tall and skinny screen as seen on the previous model. However, other foldable phones such as the Oppo Find N2 and Google Pixel Fold have demonstrated that a shorter and wider outer display is easier to use when the phone is folded shut, making it more convenient to use with one hand. If Samsung were to follow suit and make the outer display wider and shorter, it would significantly improve the Z Fold 5's usability as a phone rather than just a foldable tablet. The Galaxy Z Fold 4 is officially compatible with Samsung's S Pen Digital Stylus, but it doesn't come included in the box, and there's no storage space for it inside the device like there is on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. While it's understandable that folding inner screens are more delicate than traditional phone displays, we hope that Samsung has made improvements in the materials used for the Z Fold 5's display to make it more durable. This would allow more users to take advantage of the S Pen stylus without worrying about damaging the screen. It would also be great if the Z Fold 5 included a built-in storage compartment for the S Pen, similar to the Galaxy S23 Ultra, to make it more convenient to carry and use. 
Finally, what are your thoughts about it? Do let us know in the comments section. Hope you liked and subscribed to this channel. I will see you in next one.